For those of you who don't recognise this already, this is Jim's allotment. I will put a little tiny bit in here now, side by side, to show you what it was like the last time we come up here. But yeah, everything is growing out in the summer now. We've got green beans growing, transplanted rhubarb. I've already enjoyed a little bit of that. Got some sweet peas. What looks like peppers, more sweet peas. That buddlier, he gave that buddlier a real good cut back. Let's come back. Potatoes. Peas. Strawberries. Oh, what we got down here? Raspberries. In here. I do really love the smell of tomatoes. Yep. Tomatoes in there. We've just been eating some of these. Oh, what is that? A bean. It looks like a witch's nose. Picking broad beans, are you? Yes. This will be that nice. one looks like a big toe. Yeah. You've got some big ones growing up the back as well, Jim. Mm. This will be the last Oh, I think I've found the winner. What? The size of this one here, James. Whoa, that's a big one. That is a big one, that's isn't another. it? Just twist it. Pick it upwards. Just pull it upwards and it will come off. Let me go see. Oh yeah. Dead. Right there. And there. And is this your um, long stem bro broccoli? Yeah. Yeah, I've been eating the leaves. And With some beetroot. Yeah, the, this is all be coming out soon. And the beans will be coming out this week. Compared to what it was like the last time we were here, this is like a jungle. That olive's grown loads, hasn't it? Yeah, and I cut it back. See, we've got some cherries. Oh yeah. This is only a, only planted this last last year. Uh, they should take them off, really, because it's yes. the first year. Is that your pear and far corner your apple. Uh, yes. Cooking apples coming Yeah, we've up. in our tree when growing up, we had that. It's like an aphid, isn't it? It's a white fungus. I need. I was hoping that the yeah, heavy it's, rain it is we like had like a, a little aphid that lives in this as well. Will would have washed it off. Well, need to get the washer. Oh yeah, there's a oh. couple of little ones. Yeah, I should take them off really, but I'm so loath to. I like <laughs> to see them. Oh, thank you. So plenty in the. Greenhouse too. So your broad beans, you've you've just finished your crop of them. Yeah. Sweet peas one. that are in the house, they've come off. Ones, this will be. I think later this week I'll probably be cutting this back. Uh, but I've got. You've still got that germinated. You've still got that pig stuck on you that I stuck on you about three hours ago. Jim, got some more. Some more. Yeah. Thank you. Mine broke. Have you been in the greenhouse? Just yeah. here. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, so potatoes are beginning to come out now. Gooseberries as well. I tell you what, there's been a lot of growth on that gooseberry plant as well, hasn't there? Yeah, the. the um, been over shot. has been at it again. Just the other day I came in and must have lifted a dozen. Yeah, or two well, I can see them all here. Those are cabbage white caterpillars by the look of them. You don't just like cabbages, you like over the hedge. Yep. I'm just lifting these. Yeah, and your peas are just. Well, the they've had a battering as well. But look, is that the birds that's doing that, or is that caterpillars again? That's the caterpillars. I've had a real blitz on slugs. Uh, yeah, see these. These have been. Uh, yes. These are well. There they are. Look. Those are big caterpillars. Because I 
with the weather being so indifferent now. I'm not oh. here all the for several hours. Dad, Dad. But I'd rather them take these old cabbage than mine. Yes, yeah, so you've got them almost as like a sacrificial crop. Yeah, because the peas, the mice just demolished the whole row and the mice also took out a whole row of runner beans. So that's my second sowing there in the tubs. What have you got coming up here with these? Uh, dwarf, these? dwarf runner beans. I've uh, got Adami beans down here, I've just sown. Where's your hedgehog? Some. Are they still living in here somewhere? Uh, uh, yes, he's, they find plenty of snail sh empty snail shells. So I assume he's still on patrol. Hibernates in the back hedge there. So you can see the Swedes at the top. There, really. We were talking about there's times before where Jim's has made a, like a beer trap for the slugs. And he's talked about coming in one time and one of them was pulled up and like a load of shuffling as if one of the hedgehogs was going there and drunk all the beer and ended up real drunk. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a beer trap. It's full of rainwater now, but it's a very efficient way of here's our Swedish turnips. Oh, aye. Lovely. Oh yeah, James is. Oh, there's one. Flavour. There's one over here as well. Look. Oh, don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. Yeah. And them sweet peas, they smell yeah, absolutely amazing. They do. If you wouldn't think I picked that clean this morning, and those have all just opened up to in the last few hours. And the rhubarb, I moved it from the far corner. Mm. I've just said when I seen it, it's transplanted rhubarb. Yeah. yeah. It moved really well. I got a crumble out of that the other day. You and did. Carol, it was absolutely amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got to, we'll run round here, pick up some snails and some slugs and take them with us. Yeah. Take it easy. You can have them for tea and garlic butter. Yeah.